Where did life come from? That's an incredibly interesting question. As a Christian, I believe God created life. So I think I know where life came from. It came from the direct action, supernatural action of God. If you aren't willing to believe in a creator God, you have to somehow believe that life occurred naturally. And that's extremely difficult to understand from a scientific perspective. First of all, there's a law we have in science called the law of biogenesis. That law states rather clearly, life only comes from other living creatures. That's a standard law of science that in all of our scientific experience has never been broken. You can't have something living except that it comes from something else that was also living. So when a cat has kittens, the life of the kittens is explained because the kittens came from something living, their mother and father, right? So in the end, that's how the law of biogenesis works. And like I said, as far as we can tell scientifically, this law has never been broken. If you don't want to believe in a creator God, you have to believe there was at least one time in the history of the earth where that law was broken, and something non-living actually became living. Now, it's very hard to understand how this could happen. Uh, people who don't want to believe in a creator God have come up with all sorts of different scenarios trying to explain how non-living chemicals could randomly interact to suddenly produce some very simple single cell that uh, would eventually evolve to become more complex and become what we see today. Nevertheless, even those people can't agree on how this happened. Some people, for example, believe that simple chemicals interacted randomly to form proteins, a type of chemical you find in all life. And those proteins eventually helped to build the first DNA, and that's when the first real living organism occurred. However, there are other people who say that can't have happened because the only way we see proteins hap uh, being produced in nature is through the action of DNA. So in order to have proteins, you first have to have DNA. But then in order to have DNA, at least according to people who believe proteins came first, you have to have proteins. That's a chicken and egg scenario. Which came first, the proteins or the DNA? You need DNA to make proteins, but you need proteins to make DNA. So a lot of uh, people who don't want to believe in a creator God have gone away from the proteins first view and believe that somehow some genetic chemical, not DNA, but some other genetic chemical, maybe RNA, which is kind of similar to DNA, but it's a little more reactive, uh, maybe that came first. However, those people have problems as well in explaining how this RNA would eventually uh, produce a DNA-based creature. Every one of these origin of life scenarios has serious problems associated, it, associated with it. Um, and so in the end, right now from a scientific point of view, there's certainly no way to explain how life can come from non-life. And in fact, in order for that to happen, a law that we all believe in has to be broken. So I think the most obvious scientific um, uh, belief is that life can't come from non-life. So therefore, since we see life here, it must have been created. And of course, I believe it was created by God.